In this video, I'll be teaching you guys my one card move flop, and it looks like this. So to do the move, you want to start off in straddle grip, you want to place your thumb onto the face of the deck, slightly below the middle here. Then you want to extend your thumb and slide one card outwards. Once you reach about this position, you want to then extend the bottom deck outwards with, by pressing downwards on it with your middle, ring, and pinky. Right, so without the card, it'll look like this. Right? So with the card, you extend the bottom packet outwards, and you should be able to clip this card between your thumb and your index here. Then, this next part is practically impossible to do slowly, because it relies on the momentum of this card. Right, so I'll be showing you this part in two hands. So you're gonna first start by shifting your thumb to the bottom left corner here. And you want to flip this card by pressing downwards with your thumb and applying upward pressure with your index. So this should naturally lead to the card flipping over like so. Okay. Then you wanna instantaneously then bring the bottom packet back inwards by curling in your middle ring and pinky. And at the same time, I'm gonna extend your thumb, which is below this card, right? So these opposite forces should lead to um, this card then flipping over and being rolled onto the back of the deck like so. So I'll try to show you the move slowly with one hand. So it looks like this. Right? So here you're pushing down with your thumb, this card flips over, then you push upwards with your thumb and bring this deck back in, right? Here we have two tips to practice this move. The first is that while you're doing the move, you wanna make sure that you do not pause anywhere, right? Because this move really relies on the momentum of this single card here as it flips over. And so if you try to stop anywhere, then the card will lose its momentum and it won't be able to continue flipping, right? So you wanna do the move continuously all at once. The second tip is that to practice this move, it would be helpful to try out trainers or squids if you have any. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do, it will really help because trainers generally have, for each packet, there's more weight to it. And so there's mo more momentum as the packet flips, right? So it will be really helpful to first practice with those if you have them.